good what's happening what's up everybody welcome back to black and blend zing black to the blending how you guys doing if you are new to this channel please do consider subscribing below turning on notification bell so that you are notified every time we post a video today's video i'll be sharing my fitness journey yeah i'm not a personal trainer i am just an ordinary little girl trying to get fit for the fifth time in her life so I've been trying this whole fitness journey thing, but when it comes to winter, for some reason, I'm just like, hell no. <laughs> like I cover myself and I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. So I used to exercise from like September to December and then I don't exercise December until September again. So I've never been consistent to say, you know, I've, I've gymmed for six months of my life. I've never, my body never knew that. You understand? But this year, okay, so what had happened was last year I gained, <laughs> I gained a lot of weight. I think last year was the biggest I've ever been in my life, you know. I gained a lot of weight. I was super heavy and I remember last year trying to exercise around October and I was just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it, you know. And then I was like, okay, if I continue, you know, the whole cycle of exercising for three months and then the whole year I'm unhealthy and I exercise again, it's really just going to kill my body slowly right so i had taken it upon myself to say okay this time i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna do it right with that said i was made to start exercising in january but <laughs> honey it's not easy um i started in april beginning april i started and then it was just after easter yeah it was after easter i was like okay now i'm gonna do it right so when i first started i had no routine i just binge to watch on youtube how people you know like how people losing weight but let me tell you something i am one person that knows that there is nothing you can do quick about weight there's no way you can drink you know lose weight quick there's no slimming tea unless you know you have the money to go under the knife and for surgery then obviously you can do that quick but otherwise if you are like me you know honey you're gonna sweat you're gonna struggle you're gonna run out of breath you're gonna feel like you're about to die but you're just gonna have to keep pushing because consistency is the key but what helped what helped me lose most of my weight was fasting so what i first when i first decided to do it i decided that i was going to be drinking three liters of water a day and i was going to do the intimate fasting and i was going to just do cardio so when i first started i used to watch a lot of billy blank and uh, heather robertson i think her name is heather robertson and billy blank so i did the cardio i just did follow along cardios with them and uh, right, so then firstly i decided to do the intimate fasting so basically what intimate fasting is is you have a period where you fast and you have an open uh, window where you eat so I first started with the 16 hours fasting and 8 hours eating. So I'd start at about, I think, half past seven. I, uh, my last meal would be at half past seven. And then I'd eat 16 hours later. I'm not really sure what 16 hours later is. But it's like 11, you know, just uh, before lunch. And then I'll have 8 hours of eating and then until I have to fast again. So during the fast, I did not take any sugars. I did have coffee with no milk or no sugar. I had uh, tea, I drank a lot of rooibos, and I drank, like I mentioned, three liters of water a day. And I made sure to exercise within the 16 um, fasting period to just make my body, um, to just make sure that my body uses the stored fat instead of the fat that I, you know, use. And um, so w when I had the eight hours eating period, I would eat, like when I broke my fast, I'd have a salad um, and more water and maybe later on I'd have like a slice of toast with peanut butter and then I'd have my supper. So when I first started this intimate fasting, first of all, I'm not a person who is into um, don't eat carbs and don't eat this because now personally I eat carbs, I eat that stuff. But what I try to do is to cut out all sugars, right? So I don't drink alcohol, I do not drink sodas, I don't eat chocolates and all of that. I have days where I don't call them cheat days, but I treat myself to something, you know. So I think that's, that's what worked for me. And later on, I moved from the 16 hours to 8 hours eating upwards to the 18 to 6, you know. Um, and so far, it's been working great. So when I felt comfortable enough to obviously go and lift weight, or change up my routine that is when I decided to start lifting weight so I am that girl that is super obsessed with ass right I am NOT about the flat stomach the abs the boobs the what dude mark me absent I do not care for that stuff but when it comes to booty honey number one I'm the I'm the I like I'm first 
in line in class. Like, dude, I'm just there. I'm that girl when I'm driving with my husband and I see a woman with a good ass. I'm like, please check her ass out. And we both turn our heads. And I know you guys think I'm crazy, but believe me, I do it. We turn our heads be like, yeah, it's good. And then we'll, we'll go on. I'm just that girl. So anyway, so what I did... The first mistake I did was I concentrated so much on my lower part of my body. So I did leg days like four days a week. I did cardio, leg day, cardio, leg day, cardio, leg day. And then over time, I obviously uh, managed and I noticed with obviously binge watching on YouTube that, hey, listen, you're not actually supposed to only do that. You're supposed to do other part of your body as well. So I have like, I exercise six days a week with Sundays. Sundays is rest day, but sometimes on Sundays I do yoga. I'm that girl. Anyway, but sometimes on Sunday I do yoga. So on Mondays I do my upper body. On Tuesdays I do lower body. On Wednesday I run. I run on, on day three. I do running. On day four I go back to upper body with abs and then I go back to my legs. And then on Saturday I do running and then on Sunday I rest or I do yoga. But what I also started doing is doing the whole skipping thing. It is not easy. Let me tell you, it is not easy. But a lot of people, a lot of us watch, um, and I include myself because I used to do it too, so I know, like, you know, what I'm talking about. A lot of us want to start, um, you know, our fitness journey, but we are ashamed, or not ashamed, ooh, let me take it back. We're not ashamed, we are scared of, you know, uh, consistency we are scared of just committing to doing something we are we are not comfortable with letting go of the greasy food cutting out the sugars and stuff like that because i remember when i was talking to a friend of mine and that she knows who she is and i was telling her that when i first started i could not exercise for more than 20 minutes like a 20 minute workout will have me flat grasping for air and i'm just like what the hell am i doing but i kept pushing because i knew what i wanted you understand and i know that okay you know i really do want to look good when i put something on i don't want to be like oh my god my stomach oh my god this because i'm just that person i've never put on a body dress. i've never worn one um, if I have, I probably took a picture showing my back and not the front because I'm, I was very insecure about my stomach, you know, and I'm like, oh, people are going to see, like, how do I, crop tops and stuff were never my thing until I started exercising. Because the more I exercised, the more weight I lost, the more c confident, you know, I became, and I was like, girl, is that you? <laughs> I mean, we do bikinis now, so you can only imagine. But all that is with consistency. And when I watch YouTube videos, a lot of people preach the same thing. You drink your water, you have a healthy diet, and you are consistent. The healthy diet for me, I'm still struggling with it. You know, I have tried a lot of, you know, diets, but for some reason, these carbs uh, just won't let it go. They won't let me go. So I've been clinging onto my carbs, and I think I finally found like something that's working for me you know i found something that's working for me and i'm really happy you know i enjoy lifting weight guys i don't think i want to live a life without lifting weight anymore i enjoy lifting weight um i'm not like high top you know like uh, bodybuilder kind of thing but i mean my goal was to squat 80 kgs um by the end of july so I, I squatted 80 kg just the beginning of August and I and then I got a knee injury. Whew, it was terrible. So I haven't lifted weight in a while, but I will bounce back. I just want to get my knee back in shape and stuff of that sort. But um, yeah, exercising, there's no magic. There's no magic to exercising. It's just waking up and doing it. I'm so proud of myself because the entire winter, I exercised five to six days a week. Some days I pushed to seven. But the most important thing I also want to put it out there is just to listen to your body because I think I didn't do that. At some point, I think July, I did not listen to my body. The entire month, I was doing seven days a week. I think and that's how I even got uh, to injury myself. And, you know, you get into such a groove that you are so comfortable. You enjoy, you know, your, your gym session that when you're done, you're like, am I done? Am I really done? I mean, I can add a little more. And I think what works for me is a bomb ass playlist. You know, Congolese music. Oh, oh, they take me. Like, damn. an hour is, feels like, like 15 minutes. Because I normally, I usually do 45 minutes to an hour. But when I do cardio, like when I do run and skip, I don't do that much. So I just try my best to run 5K. <laughs> Did I just say 5K? That's a lot. Honey, I struggled to do 4K the other day. I was out of breath. But then you must understand, like it was winter. It still is a bit of winter. We have 
bidding off table on a way to spray. But I was just like, oh my god, like it was a bit much. But anyway, yeah, that's all the tips. Well, these are basically not tips. This was just me sharing with you guys like what I do um, or how I started um, my gym, my, my, my fitness journey. And I'm hoping that now that I'm actually documenting, you know, my, my journey and I have people sliding in my DM like, honey, you encourage me, inspire me, la, la, la. and I'm just like, hey, I'm there for it. Like, that's why I'm here. Um, and I'm going to be including some of my workouts um, videos on this channel so i hope you guys will you know join me we'll do the skipping challenge together i'm actually going to start doing on from monday i'm going to be doing the thousand a thousand jumps um yeah we're gonna thousand jump rope yeah a day uh we're gonna do that and we're gonna drink three liters of water i'll measure my stomach i'll document it you know day by day to show you guys you know i mean a thousand jumps for me right now it's not a lot so maybe I might say one, two, one point five jumps a day. Um, yeah, I'll just do that maybe at the end of my sessions, or I might just compress it all in one day. I'm joking, but <laughs> yeah. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, please do leave comments, you know, comment section below of what else you guys want to see me do and stuff like that. Please don't tell me about what I eat in the day because I mean I'm fasting half the day. You know, my my time to eat like when I break my fast is like two you know it's two o'clock and by the time i think of what i'm gonna eat by the time i finish making what i'm gonna eat it's already three o'clock and then i'm eating you know so basically but i have a lot of uh peanut butter i love peanut butter and um yeah so thank you so much for tuning in today guys this is black and blending i'll see you next time